a student used to prepare a sample of a dry chlorine gas so a student is preparing a chlorine gas chlorine is more dense than air so when we say it is denser than air so it means it cannot rise a concentrated hydrochloric acid and manganese four oxide are reacting which is passes through the concentrated sulfuric acid uh, complete the boxes to name the apparatus you can use the screen annotation uh, or you can use a chat because you have to type so what is this one number 1 that's a conical flask and what about number 2 the box 2 uh, no, magic cylinder i will check whether it is acceptable because normally magic cylinder is having a marking uh, a gas jar when you have a gas jar a gas jar does not have a marking Ga gas syringe is having a marking but gas jar is normally used to collect the gas maybe a magic cylinder is acceptable no it's not because look what is the difference between a gas jar a gas jar is also a cylindrical but the difference is gas jar does not have it's no calibration like you cannot uh, no not not a fractionating column is there when you are using a fraction distillation so it is simply a gas jar and the first one was conical flask use the diagram identify the two mistakes what are the two mistakes you can read the first actually if you read the first statement you can identify the mistakes easily what are the two mistakes yeah that's one correct absence of the bung yeah the bung or the there's no uh lid is there basically or stopper is there or a bung is also not there that's right and a gas jar should be down that's also correct because they mention a chlorine gas is more dense than air so if it's more dense than air this is a technique to collect a lighter gas it should be other way around yeah that's right the gas jar should be down so you can see here no bung in the second flask and the gas jar should be inverted like it is not correctly placed suggest a reason why the gas produced in a flask one pass through a concentrated sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is also known as a drying agent it tend to absorb the moisture the water vapor so what is the purpose of the sulfuric acid is to dry the gas or remove the moisture describe a test for chlorine what's a test for chlorine a chemical test for the chlorine damp blue litmus turn red in the presence of chlorine or damp blue litmus it can bleaches as well or directly also you can write it bleaches like you can see one mark is for mentioning the litmus and second mark is for 
white or bleaches but normally it does not happen directly it first turn into red and then bleaches the blue litmus suggest why this experiment is done in a fume cupboard why we use a fume cupboard so that's right when gases are toxic toxic the, we use a fume cupboard so you can mention chlorine is toxic or a toxic gas or vapors are there that was question 1 in question 2 a student investigated the reaction between sodium carbonate and barium nitrate so when sodium carbonate react with barium nitrate first what he did a burette was filled with aqueous sodium carbonate like solution of sodium carbonate seven test tube were labeled uh, one cm cube of sodium carbonate 2 3 4 and so on then the glass rod is used to stir the content in each and the content of the test tube were left to stand until a solid form basically a precipitation reaction occur when sodium carbonate react with silver nit uh, barium nitrate this will result in a formation of barium carbonate and sodium nitrate barium carbonate uh, most carbonates are insoluble except potassium sodium and uh, ammonium so barium carbonate is also insoluble salt use a ruler to measure the height of the solid form in the test tube in the diagram and record the height so basically what you will do you just use your ruler scale and measure the height what you have to do volume of aqueous sodium carbonate because use a ruler measure the height of solid form in each test tube in the diagram and record the height of a solid form in a table and complete so the test tube one what was the volume of sodium carbonate it was one test tube two it is two test tube experiment three it is four then it is five then it is six seven and eight these are the volume of sodium carbonate which we use and the height you have to use a ruler a scale i cannot uh, have the correct answer because i am not measuring according to the actual paper size so but what you have to do using a ruler you have to measure this height for each so i'll use a marking scheme values to complete the question so you can see uh, the height of solid will be about 12 24 48 60 73 73 and 73 so 12 24 48 60 60 and then 73 one mark is for mentioning a height in millimeter because you can see already they mention it's slash mm it means your answer should be in millimeter so you'll measure in centimeter and convert into millimeter then plot the result on your grid draw two intersecting lines of best fit and label the x x axis so 1 2 3 4 what should be there on x axis what is there on x axis the label of x axis that's volume of sodium carbonate a uh, volume is not in millimeter volume is in centimeter cube so volume of uh, sodium carbonate is there now we have to complete the graph uh, for one i think uh, what are the values 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 okay So one, at one it was twelve. Uh, each box is representing two. So four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So this was twelve. Then two it was twenty-four.
then at 4 it is 48 maybe the points might not be exactly uh, same because it's difficult to identify the exact box according to the grid so 48 and then it was 5 It was 60. Then it is 73. Uh, so this was 60, 62, 4. 6, 68, 70, 72, 73. So then it is 73 for the remaining. So, but they mentioned two intersecting straight line. Straight line. So what we'll do? First, we draw a line joining the first change, like a straight line. And then the second straight line. So we have to draw two intersecting straight lines. And using this, we can identify the position. Then from your graph, deduce the height of a solid when 3 centimeter of aqueous sodium carbonate is added to 6 cm cube of barium nitrate. So 3 centimeter cube of aqueous, because we don't know what is the value at 3. So we will draw a line from 3. And using a graph, we will work out the value. And when they mention, show clearly on the grid. So it means you have to draw these lines. Like using a ruler, you will draw these lines and show on the grid. Describe. Yeah, I, I did not check the value, but it is according to the graph which you will plot. Describe the trend in height of a solid form in test tube 1 to test tube 7. What is the trend from test tube 1 to test tube 7? What is the trend in the height of precipitate form? Yeah, first it is increasing. The height increases and then level of or become constant. So that's why it's of two marks. One is for mentioning the height is increasing and the second mark, it became constant. Predict what would happen if experiment was continued using three further test tube. Each contains six cm cube barium nitrate, but nine cm cube, 10 cm cube, and 11 cm cube of sodium carbonate is added. So like here, we added like seven cm cube, Sorry, 7 cm cube, 8 cm cube. This was 6 cm cube. And then now we are continue, continuing like 9, 10, and 11. What will happen to the height of sodium, height of the precipitate? It will be constant or it will not change. What will be the reason for that? Because there is no more reaction occur. So same height, 73 will be there because all the barium nitrate has reacted. Yeah, no more reaction or uh, all the barium nitrate is already used up. Suggest one change. Suggest one change to the apparatus which could make more accurate result. So what change we can make to the apparatus? Because we are using normally measuring cylinders, so we can use a burette or a pipet to measure the volume in instead of using a magic cell end, like use a burette or pipette. Then suggest a different method to measure the amount of solid form during this experiment. So what we can do, we can also measure its mass and how we can measure the mass of this solid. Uh, we can filter, then dry and measure the mass. That's why it's of three marks. Like instead of measuring the height, what else you can do? You can measure the mass of the precipitate. 
yeah that's right uh, burette can only measure 25 cm cube so sorry uh, pipit can exactly measure 25 but here the volumes are different like 1 2 using a measuring cylinder this was poured so accurate one is a burette like burette is the accurate one answer but they normally mention you can see pipit to measure out the aqueous barium nitrate So burette is because it can measure point one cm 